Hey guys, welcome to Superlative Radio. Dylan Stone here with you. Hope you enjoy the following vlog. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog here on Superlative Radio. Um, today I'd like to talk about um, just the way things have been going in the world in general. Um, we have seen a whole lot of stuff happening lately that's just making me shake my head. And I've talked about some of them, some of these things in other in other videos. You know, the world is on one of those, I would guess it's like on a precipice or right on the top of a mountain peak and it could go either way, right? Like we could go completely one way and destroy the crap out of ourselves or we could go the other way and we could be off to, you know, uh, a species that exists for billions of years. But you gotta wonder, when you look at the world today, look at what's going on in it and think, does this, does this seem right? I watched a video earlier today, and uh, when I say earlier today, I'm talking about late February uh, as I'm recording this. So I watched a video earlier today from a girl on YouTube. You can check her out. Her, uh, her name's Sydney Watson. She's an Australian American. And she did a video on how white people are bad. And, uh, she does a lot of stuff where she talks, she's a, she's a conservative, and how she talks about the way society treats often men, white people, all kinds of stuff. Part of her video talked about people of color and, you know, others talking about how, why don't we kill more white people? And I was just mind boggled at the fact that somebody would make a video about this and she said it was like 11 minutes of people just basically bashing on white people and how they should kill them and and stuff and yet the person who created it was a black guy and ha she said you know and he he put in his thing about how uh well i'm not trying to incite violence or whatever i'm like i'm watching this and i'm like bullshit of course you are we shouldn't be talking about killing anybody anybody Regardless of their skin color, or their religion, or their political beliefs, or whatever, the only people we should worry about killing are these people who want to kill other people. They're the only ones that we should be, like, offing. Like, here, eat a bullet. Like, lock yourself in the friggin' garage, run a hose from the gas tank to the window, put all of them, press them up all the way, and inhale deeply. You know, like, those are the kind of people who deserve to be dead. Not... Like, you shouldn't be like, well, white, we need to kill more white people. Why? What have white people done to you? If you think you're being oppressed by white people, I'm here to tell you, man, you couldn't be more fucking wrong. We don't live 200 years ago when white people kept slaves. Okay? Like, are there, are there, are there asshole white people out there you're right there are but there are asshole black people there are asshole asian people there are asshole arabian people there are asshole native people there are they're asshole any people like there, there's lots of every that's not a race thing that's not a color of your skin thing you're an asshole it's because you're just an asshole like i don't understand why we think that we have to associate race with it it's like Another thing that, that bugs me is you hear the term white privilege. Man, if there is white privilege, I am not benefiting from it. And you may go, oh, you don't even know you're benefiting it from because you're white. Trust me, I am not benefiting from any so-called white privilege. I don't get any benefit for being white. You know, I certainly don't get one for being male. So white and male? Man, I don't know what kind of privilege I'm supposed to have, but I wish it would come my way just so that I could have something. The simple fact is, is these people are talking about stuff. Like another thing is like the patriarchy. That doesn't exist. The wage gap. Um, you know how they get the wage gap? They basically, they take every female that's employed and they take every male that's employed. Okay. And they ask them what their yearly salary is. And they add all those up and they average it out. Okay. And then they compare them. And they say, well, on average, men make more than women. Well, that could be because some of the most high-paying jobs we have 
are done by men. If you look at what those jobs are, there is less, usually less than like 5% of them that are women, okay? Scientists, engineers, mathematicians, people in the army, Alaskan crab fishing. There is not a single woman on the planet that does that. <laughs> Oil rig work. Mining. When you look at some of the most dangerous jobs in the world where people get paid danger pay on top of the regular salary, they are almost universally, exclusively male. So there is a reason that these people are being paid more money. They're being paid more money because what they're doing could end their life. They could die doing their job. They're not a school teacher or a kindergarten teacher or a nurse. I'm sorry. You know, if you look at nurses, okay, are there male nurses and female nurses? Yes. Are they paid the same? Yep, they are. They aren't paid more money. They might be depending on whether they're a registered nurse or uh, uh, a nursing assistant or whatever. Then there's different levels of pay. But anybody who's a registered nurse is paid what a registered nurse is paid. Why? Because they have unions. You know, um, if you work in retail, whether you're male or female, you're paid the same amount. Generally, it's minimum wage. You know, some people in retail, like I know some companies pay more if you're there longer. So the longer you're there, you make more. So obviously men who have been there longer than some of the starting women are going to be making more money. Yes, but eventually those women will make the same amount. Just like there are women making more than men. You have to compare. If you're going to talk about a wage gap, you need to take two people working the exact same job with the exact same title, the exact same education, and the exact same amount of experience and say, what's the wage gap? I guarantee you there is no such thing. It's been proven. To say that there's wage gaps, well, that's just an outright lie. There isn't. To say that there's, you know, discrimination for... You want to talk about where the discrimination lies. It lies with the left-leaning crowd. And because, God forbid you say something that disagrees with somebody else today. We live in a society of snowflakes and millennials who believe they're entitled to everything. I have some news for you. The world doesn't owe you shit. It doesn't owe you a thing. It doesn't owe you a job. It doesn't owe you an education. It doesn't owe you a life. It owes you nothing. Nothing. If you want anything out of life, you have to earn it yourself. Because if you expect anything to be handed to you, it's not going to be. The only, the only people who ever get anything handed to them are the rich. And if you don't believe that, just look at them. They get everything handed to them. I had a friend. He passed away now. And he was a real, real, real right-wing person. He was a true through-and-through through Republican. I tend to lean a little more left than right, but I tend to stay in the center. Um, but he and I would get into disagreements. And one of the disagreements we had was about opportunity. And he said, everyone in America has the same opportunity. And I said, no, they don't. He said, yes, they do. I said, no, they don't. He said, yes, they do. Everybody has the same opportunity in America. I said, really? I said, so. A black kid from the ghetto or the, uh, the inner city in Chicago or Detroit or whatever, he has the same opportunity as your... Now, he was, a, he was a doctor in New York. He owned a Porsche, a Corvette. Uh, I don't know how many other vehicles. Um, he owned a house in... Uh, he owned a house in uh, the Carolinas. You know, he had a house in upstate New York. I mean, the guy, the guy he was a doctor. He had a crap load of money. Um, I said, you think that that child who has a single mother working probably four jobs to support the two of them because one of them has to be a waitress and you guys don't believe in paying waitresses minimum wage. You just tell them they work off their friggin' tips minus uh, an amount. Like, I said, do you think that child has the same opportunity when he goes to school probably hungry every day and doesn't have the right clothing to fit, 
can't afford all the necessary school supplies. I said, do you think that child has the same opportunity as your children, which go to private school and have everything handed to them and their secondary education already paid for? You mean tell me they have the same opportunities? His answer was yes. I was like, man, you are so full of shit. It's unbelievable. And the fact is, is it's true. I grew up um, and my mom and my dad divorced when I was four, five. I can't remember exactly. So my mom was a single mom for several years. She worked any and all hours that the hospital would give her because she was a nurse. And she was only casual. She took anything that they offered her to do. She worked every job you can think of under the sun at the hospital. Some of them not even nursing jobs in the hospital, just so she could get hours, just to make sure that my sister and I had something to eat and clothing. Eventually, my sister, who's much older than I am, moved out. And um, my mom and I, uh, my mom started dating my stepdad. And, um, you know, and then my life moved into more of a middle class kind of thing. So, you know, from about the time I was with nine or ten or something like that on, you know, I know I had more opportunities than some other people. And I know that just because I was, you know, like in a middle class kind of family. I know I have more opportunities than other people today. I know that because, but it's not because of my skin color and it's not because of the fact that I'm male and it's not because I'm straight. It's because I was ingrained with a work ethic and my parents were able to provide something for me that others weren't. Some people have more opportunities than others. And that's what it boils down to is you have more opportunity if you have more money. More money means you can provide more for your family, for your children, for their education. It doesn't matter what color you are. There are plenty, plenty, plenty rich people that are Asian. There are plenty, plenty rich people that are black. There are plenty, plenty rich people that are Arabian, that are white. Do you think any of those people have trouble giving their children every opportunity that they can? They don't. And now look at people who grow up dirt poor, living on the streets or whatever. Do you think those people have the same opportunities? They don't. You just don't have the same opportunities. Are there poor people who have come out of being poor and risen up to being rich? Yes, there are. But they're the exception, not the rule. And you can be like, a lot of people say, well, look at Elon Musk. He made his fortune all by himself. Yeah, he came from a fairly wealthy family to begin with in South Africa, in a place where he already had an advantage because he grew up in a country where being white actually is an advantage as opposed to being black. He didn't grow up in the US. He didn't grow up in Canada. He didn't grow up in Britain. He grew up in South Africa where, you know, actually being white is having white privilege, kind of, you know, and being rich. Like his parents were well off. They weren't, they weren't struggling. So was it easier for him to get the education he wanted? Yeah, he went to two different friggin' universities, one in Canada and one in the US. Um, he became a Canadian citizen and then an American citizen. Like, he's had opportunity because of what he was afforded younger in life. And that same thing applies to other people. Just give it some thought before you think about certain things and the way the world is and how things are. Because, you know, there are a lot of factors to take into account. I'll catch you guys for another vlog right here on Superlative Radio. Hey guys, thanks for watching Superlative Radio. Come back anytime, and when you do, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a comment. We really want to know what you think. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, because that's the way it's supposed to be.